not saying that you don't want to do excellent work. Perfectionism is an ideology that causes you to overthink, overdo, and overanalyze to the point where you are putting yourself into a lock hold. You don't allow yourself to progress. Welcome to the Rise with Diana podcast, the podcast for working women leaders who are dedicated to doing the greatest work in a sound body, mind, and spirit. I'm Diana Patton, ex-corporate executive and civil rights attorney turned entrepreneur and business coach, helping working women leaders to gain the confidence to speak up and advocate for themselves and take uncomfortable action through daily disciplined practices to experience true life success without sacrificing their sanity. It wasn't that long ago that I was taking things way too personal, secretly having something to prove, and doing my best to fake it like I had it all together. I thought the appearance of success was the glue holding my life together. But it was that appearance of success and hustling to prove my worth that was ruining my life. In this podcast, my goal is to teach you the tried and true secrets of living your greatest authentic life. You with me? Let's get ready to rise. Hey, sis, I'm so glad that you have joined me yet again for another episode of the Rise with Diana podcast. Hey, how's it going for you? Have you had an opportunity to share some of the things that you're learning? You know, at the Rise with Diana podcast, we really want to make this a time where we're like, it's it's kind of like we're in the same room, you know, having a conversation and just talking about some of the things that we as women leaders often struggle with. Right. And so I want to make certain that you are feeling a sense of forward movement, that you're feeling like you're learning something, that you really believe that you belong in this community. And as a reminder, I want to share with you that the Rise with Diana podcast is to help working women leaders do their greatest work by connecting to their higher power, whatever power you call it. For me, I call it God, to do that greatest work in a sound body, mind, and spirit. All right, so here I want to share something with you that I believe all of us tend to have an issue with, right? Oh, I'm just a perfectionist. How many of you have said that? I am just a perfectionist, and that's just the way that I am. And let me just tell you something, sis. Perfectionism is death. And I, I want to tell you that because you have to understand that perfection is the enemy of a lot of things. And I want to share with you where perfection tends to be the enemy of things. Are you ready for it? Perfection is the enemy of progress. Perfection is the enemy of growth. And perfection is the enemy of authentic leadership. Now you're like, why is she calling me out like that? Because perfection is what's holding you back. And and I want to share some things with you because I believe that a lot of us have been stopping ourselves doing our greatest work in the name of perfection. And we wear it with a badge of honor. And here's what I want you to do. Do me this favor. I want you, if you are driving in your car right now, don't do this. But if you're at home and you are getting ready for the day or you're closing your day or even if you are in the kitchen taking care of making that good food, I want you to pretend like you are taking off a coat. Because here's the thing. You have to physically, mentally, spiritually uproot the the roots of perfection and I want you to take it like you are pulling off a jacket like you were saying I am removing this negative badge that is holding me back because some of you have been stopping yourself from writing that book because of perfection some of you have stopped yourself for going to that promotion 
because of perfection. You say, oh, well, I don't fit all of the categories on this job description, so I can't apply for that job. I call, eh, that is perfection, which is the enemy of your ability to progress. Some of you have stopped yourself from stepping into that entrepreneurship opportunity because you're worried about perfection. Now, perfection is something that is the exact opposite, the opposite, let me say, of excellence. I am not saying that you don't want to do excellent work. Perfectionism is an ideology that causes you to overthink, overdo, and overanalyze to the point where you are putting yourself into a lock hold. You don't allow yourself to progress. Now, you've heard this, but perfectionism is almost the cousin of comparisonism, right? You're like, is that a word? Well, we're making that a word today, honey. Perfection gets into this comparison because you're constantly comparing yourself to what it is you mentally believe you need to be, okay? So here's a term that I want you to say. This is something that you can share on social media. Are you ready for it? Done is better than perfect. Man, you're like, what? Done is better than than perfect. So let me give you some examples of where I have stopped myself because I like to share stories that I have, I'm not acting like I have not fallen into this perfectionism. So I want to share with you what I've known. And I'm going to give you three things. Just so, so hold on with me. I'm going to give you this story and then I'm going to give you three things that you can take with you. But first, let me share this story. So for me, When I was struggling with deep perfection, it has to do with showing up on social media. And I started to realize that when I was going through this depression that I was going through after George Floyd was murdered, I was going through this serious depression and anxiety. I was feeling overwhelmed most days. I was feeling as if I couldn't speak because there was something going on with my throat. Uh, I was feeling like I was being overly judged. And as a result, I couldn't just show up on social media. What I mean by that was I consistently like to show up on social media, specifically Instagram and LinkedIn, to provide encouraging and inspiring notes and videos. And, you know, like what I'm doing right now with this podcast, providing this to you. Guess what I was doing? I would open up my camera, I would get on video, and guess the first thing I would see? I would see my hair wasn't right, my lips looked dry, my eye circles were showing, my dry spots, like, dang, Diana, why didn't you wear sunscreen? You got all these spots. Like, I consistently was judging myself. How many of you guys do that? Like, right when you say you're going to do something, you immediately see every single flaw, right? Well, because I was already in a space of depression and anxiety, I was just so overwhelmed thinking. And guess what I was thinking? I was thinking, what will they think about me? These people that I don't even know. I was so concerned about them judging me. And that, my friends, is the first root That's like one of the pins on the jacket of perfection that you are dealing with, right? At the root of perfectionism is judgment, the judgment of other people. What will they say about me? What will they think about me? How are they going to interpret me? What's their perception of me? And that became something I ruminated on. I listened to my thoughts constantly, and I began to judge myself. So that was when I knew that I was struggling with perfectionism because what was on the other side of that? Just being because I needed to be able to help people to know that they were doing okay. And guess what? I needed to show up on social media to know I was good and I was okay. And so I was constantly doing that. So I know, ladies, that 
what we begin to do is we begin to put ourselves in a box. We box ourselves in because we're so worried about what other people think. Would you agree that's true? What other things go in your mind when you are thinking about perfection, right? And again, I want to overemphasize this. Ladies, I am not saying that you can't be excellent. What I am saying is that when you move towards perfectionism, you cause yourself to not even do your best work. You know, one time I was listening to an interview of Serena Williams after she won Wimbledon. And one of the questions was asked by one of the media um, experts and saying, hey, Serena, so what is it that you think about when you are playing tennis? You know what she said? Nothing. Nothing. I'm just playing tennis. And so I really think that one of the things that we've got to consistently do is realize that maybe what is causing you this overly exerted thought of perfectionism is you haven't done it enough, right? You haven't practiced it enough. And so you're not trusting yourself. You don't believe that you have what it takes because you're not doing it. But then it's a catch-22, right? Because how do you get better at doing it? You got to just do it, right? And so that is the first thing that you are going to have to do when it comes to overcoming perfectionism, all right? We're going to get it into our first thing that we're going to have to do, all right? So the first thing that you're going to have to do is just do it. I mean, Nike was right. (laughs) Nike a long time ago, I don't know if they still have this slogan, right? Is just do it. And that means that when you just do it, that you basically are saying, I'm just going to give it my best effort. And I'm just going to go for it. And I'm just going to allow myself to put myself out there and allow myself to be seen allow myself to be heard, and allow myself to be valued for what I have, and what I have is exactly what is needed. All right? So here's the first thing that you're going to do. You're going to just do it. You're going to do it. Now, what's going to help you do it is if you go and you start being around people that encourage you to be your authentic self, right? You need to go back to podcast number three, where we talk about what you're doing behind the scenes to help you give you that confidence to be the person you want to be in front of other people, right? You're going to see how these podcasts line up with each other as teaching tools to do your greatest work. Okay, so number one is just do it. Just do it do it. In the Rise with Diana community, we like to call that taking uncomfortable action. Taking uncomfortable action, right? So that is number one. Okay, so number two, what is the second thing that we need to do to overcome the need for perfectionism? Is to say to yourself consistently, I'm good enough. I am I'm good enough. I'm good enough to do it. I will do it. Because I'm just going to venture to say that often when you're heading into these situations, you've already have a baseline of what you're doing. Because I'm just going to tell you, there are just some people out here who will just go, I'm just going to do it. They don't have any clue as to what they're doing. They don't know nothing. They just have a belief that they're good enough, and they will do it. And then, you know what? When you look behind the scenes, you're like, well, you don't even have a a law degree. How are you a lawyer? Because I'm just going ahead and doing it. (laughs) And I just love that. It's just so funny to me because people just believe I am good enough to do it. And I'm so, like, okay with that. 
you know, unless it's surgery and you're trying to stitch my leg back together after me being in a car accident, I do want to have somebody who is trained in that. But I'm just saying it still requires you to be good enough because let me tell you this story about, it was an email I was reading about a surgeon who was newly starting out and he was dealing with this issue of perfection. This individual knew everything, right? Understood all the tools, had like the highest GPA from his class. But when it came to actually performing the surgery, he was judging himself against all of the other surgeons who have all of these accolades behind their name. And he didn't believe that he was good enough to do his work. What did he have to do? He himself had to say, I'm going to just do it. And secondly, I am good enough. I am good enough to be here. And ladies, we have to know that I am good enough to be here. I'm good enough to have this seat at the table. I'm good enough to be here at this, at this board level, at this executive level. Whatever it is, you have to tell yourself you are good enough. All right? That's our second thing. All right? The third thing that we have to understand that you're just going to have to do it afraid. You see, I am not going to say that this is just going to be like, you're going to be fine. You're going to walk through the roses. And once you do, you say, I'm good enough and people love me (laughs) or I'm going to just do it, that you are going to be fine, right? No, sis, your hands might be shaking. Your voice might be shaky. Your hands might be sweaty. Uh, Your mouth might get a little dry. Get yourself some water. I got a gallon of water I'm drinking today. You know, you just have to prepare yourself to do it afraid, right? Even Rihanna says, you better go on and get your little Sasha Fierce out there. That's her little alter ego. (laughs) I think, okay, maybe temporarily you might want to have one of those alter egos, but I'm not a fan of having this alter ego permanently. I want you to understand that eventually, one day, as you continuously just do it, and you remind yourself that you're good enough, and you do it afraid, eventually it'll start coming easier to you. And you're going to understand that you can do this. So does that sound good to you, sis? Does this sound like it's making sense to you? Repeat after me. Perfection is the enemy of progress. Say it, okay? Perfection is the enemy of growth. Say this, perfection is the enemy of my authentic leadership. And we don't want that. Done is better than perfect. So go out there. You can do this work. Put it out there. Let people see it. You are good enough. You can do it and do it afraid. All right, my friends. Take that with you today. Let that inspire you. Please share this podcast with someone who needs to hear this. You know this. This can help inspire your friend to just do it, right? Oh, by the way, have you taken that Speak Up and Rise quiz yet? I hope that you do because I really, really want to get to know you. And finally, I want to say shout out to my friend Mark of Level 2 Audio for putting together this audio for you today. All right, sis, I will see you next time.